You can now get the 2015 Release 2 of TechPlot RS. Links to the download page will be given at the end of this video. We've included some new useful functionalities in TechPlot RS. You can now weigh the KSEM and K average operators with another variable. The quick XY plots for grid variables have been enhanced now to include lines for multiple variables. And users now have the ability to multi-edit line styles. This greatly simplifies the process of setting up your plots. You can now weigh the KSUM and K average operators with another variable. When you're in the 3D grid view, you could activate the KSUM or K average toggles, which will sum or average the variable values in a column of cells. In the options menu, you can now apply a weighting variable to the KSUM or K average. This helps adjust the contribution of each cell in relation to properties such as pore volume or cell thickness. The quick XY plots for grid variables have been enhanced now to include lines for multiple variables. I'm going to set up a multi-frame grid view and select a 2 by one frame. On the right hand side I'm going to choose a dynamic variable such as pressure. Now I'm going to get into the quick XY mode and by default you'll see the plot is displayed on the right hand side. I could change the placement of this plot by going back into the multi-frame dialog. Here I could choose to place the plot at the bottom of the page. I'm also going to close the gap between the frames by changing the frame spacing. I'm going to go ahead and step through time a little bit so we'll get some meaningful data. Now if I probe through the cells, you can see both the oil saturation and pressure lines are showing up on my quick XY plot. Now if I step through time, you also see a time slider bar, which helps you see where you are in time in relation to the grid solution. This functionality is also useful when looking at dual porosity solutions. When matrix and fracture grid solutions are displayed together, the quick XY plot will display the time histories for both the matrix and the fracture data for the displayed grid variable. The quick XY is also useful when comparing multiple grid solutions. Here I have two different grid solutions loaded. I'll move forward in time a little bit. Now when I probe through a cell, you'll see that the quick XY plot displays the time history for each grid solution. In XY, you now have the ability to make multiple edits at the same time in RS, which will save you a lot of time during the process of setting up your line styles. In this example, I have three cases loaded, and I want to change the styles of both the comparison cases. The easiest way to get to the XY line style dialog is to double click on the line I want to change. You'll now see a new multi-edit style button in this dialog. So here I want to apply the changes for all of the comparison cases and all of the variables. I want to turn off the lines and change the shape of the symbols for all the comparison cases. You can now see the applied changes in the plot. Now as I step through the variables, you can see for the comparison cases, the lines are missing and the symbols have been changed to squares. To download a free evaluation copy of TechPlot RS, please visit our trial download page. For current customers, please go to the update page. If you have any questions about RS, email us at marketing at techplot.com. We're happy to set up a more in-depth demo of the new features. We could also host a short web tutorial to show you the new functionalities.